that you're joining us again today and I look forward to the art project that we're going to make. Um, today is a good STEAM activity as it includes a little science. We are going to be creating crayon resist art. So you will be creating a picture with crayons and then we're going to get a little bit of paint and we're going to dilute it down with a little bit of water to make it really thin. And the science in this happens when the wax from the crayon will not let the paint stick to it. So water and wax just kind of don't really mix. Um, so that's a, that's a good little project to do today um, to teach a few things. Um, first of all, we will start with cre protecting your surface. Um, Anytime that you use paint, it's a good idea to just protect your surface, whatever you're working on. Um, if you have an old shirt or anything that you want to um, cover up your clothes with, that would be just fine too. But um, So we will definitely be protecting our surface today. So you can get an old newspaper or anything and lay out to protect your surface. Um, there's many different ways you can do this project today. There's so many different variations you can try, you can experiment with. This is a fun, um, a very fun experimenting project today. There's many different things you can do. Um, you could do a black drawing and use many different colors of paint. You could do a colorful drawing and use just one color of paint. Um, and here's something, you can even make a secret message. You can get a white crayon and write something on your paper and you won't be able to see it right away. But once we put our paint over it, the wax from the crayon will not let the paint stick to it and the paint will stick to the rest of the paper except for your crayon. So there's so many different things you can try today. So I encourage you to, once you do one project, you can do it again another way. Um, another day, if somebody in your house says, sure, you can paint again today, then you can try a different one. Um, so you'll get, you can use a card stock, a thick paper, or just regular thin paper. Um, so that, that will work either way. But, um, so you can just start coloring and getting your designs on here, getting it on the paper. You can make any kind of coloring that you want to. And um, again, because of the wax that is in the crayons, which is helping our project today, um, you will have to use crayons. Markers or colored pencils will not work. It will have to be crayons. So you can color, make any kind of designs you'd like to, and you can color as much or as little as you want to. If you didn't even really know what you wanted to draw, um, then you could always do another scribble drawing. You can always go back to that particular project to for anything. Um, that's a good way to start with any type of creation um, in a scribble drawing. Um, so yeah, you'll be coloring and again, if you need to pause the video at any point in time, you are more than welcome to do that, to gather your supplies or um, just to take a little break and everything. And um, so, and don't forget also to send in a picture of your work. Um, that always, we, I always enjoy seeing the artwork and everything. I try to get on and look forward if anybody send anything in. So, um, I have noticed some artwork from Miss Pat Clancy. So, we will give you a shout out today. So, please send in some of your artwork. I'd love to, to see some of it and everything. So just, I want you to work and also remember that the process is more important than the end product. So just work and just enjoy it. I really want you to enjoy art. I don't want you to feel 
stressed out over your art project or think that you're not doing a good job, um, I want art to be something that you enjoy, something that you uh, can express yourself with. So don't don't let it upset you or stress you out. Um, there's no right or wrong, no set rules. So just enjoy it, have fun, and enjoy yourself. So here's an example of this is this particular drawing has a lot of different colors on it. So you will have a cup of water and a paper towel. You can, and I'm going to use a little clear bowl so that you can see just how much, but you will put just a little tiny bit of paint in your bowl. Now, if you have a watercolor set at home, you are more than welcome to use that, or just regular paint, just a little dot, a dime size, and you'll pour just a little bit of water in it. So we'll have just a little bit of water. You can take your paintbrush and you'll kind of mix it around with your water. So you have just this kind of tinted colored water. And when you get ready to paint, you can paint your whole entire paper or just certain sections. So you can start to do different colors. You can do one color over your whole paper. And if you notice while you're painting, see the paint doesn't stick to the crayon. And it turns out really super cool. It's a, bit, it's a neat, really neat concept. And it also turns out really cool. If you need to add more water, if you felt like maybe it's too dark of a spot somewhere, um, like I used a blue crayon and I feel like maybe the blue paint around the blue crayon, it might need to be just a little bit of light, lighter. Um, so I just added a little bit more water and then you can keep on painting. You can make this as thin or as thick a paint layer as you want to. So again, um, if you're using cardstock, you can color to the whole edge of your paper. Now, if you're using thinner paper, it will still work, but I would suggest that you don't paint all the way to the edges of the paper. Um, because the paint, the, when it, your paper gets wet, it will kind of expand and then it, as it dries, it goes back. And so if you paint all the way to the edges, It'll, it, when it dries, your paper will be kind of crinkly. So um, just don't paint all the way to the edge if you have thin paper. So you could do, you know, just certain little areas in it. Even it looks really good with just a black crayon and some different colors. So, and then again, like I said, you don't even have to use one color. You can use different colors if you wanted to. You can um, mix up another little color, put you a little dot of paint and pour you some water in it. You'll um, want to clean your brush if you use a new color. So you can just clean it around in your cup of water and dry it off on your paper towel and then mix up your new color here. And you can start to paint some sections on that. Again, no, there's no right or wrong any way you do this. And um, if you remember from a few weeks ago how I said that Red and blue are colors, those are primary colors. You can't mix to make those. But since we do have a red and a blue here, we could mix to make those two to make purple. Um, so you'll have a little bit of your red on there and then you'll dip it in the blue and it turns out a little purplish. 
So, but you can just, I want you to create this any way that you want to and just enjoy it. And if you just do more of an experimenting right now, then um, you might figure out what you like best and then try to do it again and you can maybe plan out a particular drawing or, um, or anything that you wanted to do or a message, a note, a word. So yeah, just keep working. You can just keep adding if you need to and make other colors if you need to. Add as many as you want. So we'll add a little bit of yellow now. And again, yellow is also one of those colors that you cannot mix to make. Um, it's a primary color, but if you do have yellow, then we could definitely mix that to make, we could mix yellow with red to make an orange. So you will have a little bit of red, mix with a little bit of yellow, makes it an orangey. And then yellow with a little bit of blue makes it kind of green. So this one in here is done on thinner paper, and you can see that it's already starting to kind of wrinkle out and expand a little bit, but like I said, um, since I didn't go all the way to the edge of the paper, then when it dries, it will not be wrinkly or crinkled up or anything like that. So you can add to it, keep on going. So you could cover up your whole drawing. You could leave things um, unpainted. And then again, like I said, you can go to the edge if you use thicker paper. Now, I know that sometimes accidents do happen, um, but just to let you know, if you accidentally, this is why we use just a little bit of water, though, at a time. Um, but if you accidentally, like, spill some on your paper, you can get your paper towel and wipe it off wherever you spill it, and then... And it kind of covers your paper as well. So even accidents are no big problem. We can make things work even from an accident. Um, so yeah, I hope that you just enjoy your art project today and keep on working. Um, I know I did have one question from a viewer, um, Sloan Snipes. She asked, um, why do you end the video when I'm still working? And that is okay. If when the video is over and you're still working and somebody at your house, your parents or whoever say, yes, you can finish working, that is fine. You do not have to stop when I stop the video. Um, but so, and then here is one more where we take a white paper, we use a white crayon, and you can't really see anything on the paper now. And once you start to add your paint to it, you can add any way you want to. Make this look, this is your artwork. This is yours. So I want you to just enjoy it. You might could even write a secret message to somebody and then give it to them and then have them paint over it to figure, to find out what it says. And you 
you've got your message. It will now show up. Um, when you are finished with your artwork, this one is already dry. This one was done only using um, black paint thinned down all the way, painted over the whole paper. But again, get you a colored piece of paper if you have construction paper at home and you can glue that down and kind of dress up your artwork a little bit. Um, send this to somebody after you take your picture and send the picture to us. You can even, if once your picture dries and you didn't go all the way to the edge, you can cut it. You can cut it to whatever size you want to cut it to. Um, and so I hope that you've enjoyed the Crayon Resist project today and that you've just really had fun with it. Um, next week, we will come together and create a fan. I know it's kind of starting to get warmer weather and you might be a little hot and we're just going to make a little fan a little fun project that you can just carry around with you and fan yourself off if you start to get a little too hot um so yes come together and create next week as we make our fan to keep ourselves cool and don't forget to send in pictures of your artwork um, i'm very excited about seeing that so thank you so much for joining us again today and we'll see you next week.